Dear brothers and sisters, we have heard the gospel of uh, today, and uh, it is our Lord walking on water, walking on the uh, over the water. You know, somebody said, um, uh, "Father, uh, you know, our Lord uh, was walking on water." Uh, why, why was he walking? And uh, uh, somebody answered, "Kaya siya naglakad sa tubig, ay dahil uh, hindi niya kaya ng bayaran ang pamasahe ng uh, bangka." Well, <laughs> dear brothers and sisters, uh, that's only an amusing story. But the reason was that our Lord wanted to uh, test the faith of the apostles, especially Peter. So uh, when the apostles, especially Peter, saw our Lord, you know, he said, Lord, let me come also uh, and uh, experience what you are experiencing. And our Lord said, "Come, come down." So Peter went down, and uh, he was looking at our Lord. But when he saw the strong waves and the winds buffeting uh, the water and him, then Lord Peter said, uh, "Help me, save me." And our Lord stretched his hand. And said, "Come." And our Lord uh, chided him and said, "Why did you doubt, O you men of little faith?" Dear brothers and sisters, what is the meaning of this uh, gospel that we have? And what is our Lord teaching us? Ano ang kanyang aral para sa atin? Well, the storms and the winds and the waves signify our many, many problems that we encounter in life. These are these storms that come in our lives and uh, our Lord is telling us to have faith in Him. You know, Some time ago, I met uh, some workers in a certain uh, company, and um, some of them said, "You know, Father, um, when we went back to our work, uh, we uh, only had to work one week in a month, and it was uh, uh, no work, no pay." Well. We were really very, very disappointed. At sa kalam niyo, Father, uh, yung konting sahod namin, pinapadala namin sa aming mga uh, magulang sa probinsya. And then came this uh, uh, enhanced uh, community quarantine. At, uh, you know, there are no... Uh, Um, work, and so the owner of the house, or rather the company, said, "I'm very tired of this already. I cannot uh, anymore cope up with uh, the loss that I have made." Kaya sabi niya kayo ay sorry na lang magsasara na ako. So you see, dear brothers and sisters, an example of really the storm that come into our life and to this life of these people. And uh, uh, somebody said, well, uh, I'm a walking economy now. Why? Well, because um, my uh, uh, stomach is an inflation, then my uh, uh, hairs are in a state of recession, And he said, 
And with this, I am experiencing depression. So, uh, this is one of the very, very uh, severe uh, effects of uh, the coronavirus pandemic that's happening to us. But it's not only this, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, but also other problems in our lives. You know, there was this lady uh, who had cancer of uh, the uh, cancer of the pancreas, and uh, I visited her, and she was still very prayerful, and she was before active in the church in uh, Legion of Mary and also in different uh, renewal communities. But then when she had this cancer, it was already an ad advanced stage and it was very, very painful. Yes, when this happened, I heard from those who were praying for her and praying with her, the rosary. Alam nyo po, sa sakit na kanyang nararanasan ay hindi na po siya nagdadasal. So, I was really sad when I heard about it. But I also prayed, brothers and sisters, that uh, I hope that the Lord would uh, forgive her because she could not bear anymore the pain that was causing this uh, cancer of the pancreas. So there are still other storms that come into our lives. It may be relationships, unjust treatment. It may be uh, also uh, uh, relationships between husbands and wives. And there are so many waves and winds that uh, buffet our life in this world. But our Lord is telling us, have faith in me and have faith in your Father. So, uh, this is what our Lord is telling us in today's Gospel. And that uh, no matter what happens, that we should always remember our Lord who is there to carry us and to help us in our difficulties. I remember the story about uh, a young man who was fond of going hiking in uh, the mountains. And one uh, late afternoon, he was uh, walking on the ridge, some, something like Tagaytay. And then he, slept, he slipped and fell, and he was rolling down the side of the mountain. Ngayon, uh, madilim na, at uh, tumawag siya sa Panginoon, Lord, uh, help me, sabi niya. And as he was rolling down like this, suddenly he grabbed the branch of a tree, sang-sanga, at ito ang nakapigil yung kanyang pagbagsak uh, sa ilalim. Pero, alam po ninyo, ay, uh, yung paghawak niya po ay bumibigay dahil maliit lamang yung sanga. Lord, sabi niya, kung nandun po kayo sa taas, sa klolo, no? At bigla na lang may uh, tinig na galing sa taas at sabi, Oh, sasakluluhan kita, pero nananalig ka ba sa akin? Eh sabi nung binata, Siyempre naman, Lord, kaya humihingi ako ng tulong sa iyo. Kung ganun, bitawan mo ang hawak mo. Aba, sabi nitong binata, ano ito? Eh, humihingi ako ng tulong sa Panginoon. Pagkatapos sasabihin, bibitawan ko ang hawak, hawak ko. Kaya alam po niyo, Lumingon na naman siya taas at sumagot, uh, sum, sumigaw. Kung may ibang Diyos pa dyan, saklolo. Sorry. Nagbalimbing po itong uh, binatang ito. So, yung mga balimbing ay hindi lang pala sa politika, kundi yung mga balimbing sa pananampalataya. My dear brothers and sisters, if we have some difficulties and problems in life, 
we should also remember to do something in order to be able to remedy them. God will always help us, but of course, we also should help ourselves. Halimbawa po, uh, ngayon, panahon ng COVID uh, pandemic, um, there are some uh, restrictions and uh, some protocols which will help us to fight and uh, eliminate uh, this uh, coronavirus. So they tell us that we should uh, wear face masks. Well, I'm not wearing now, but uh, after this, I will wear this also. Or the others, of course, social distancing. And then the others, uh, well, that we should also have sanitation and then that we submit for uh, treatment if uh, we feel uh, hard breathing and uh, also uh, these different symptoms of uh, COVID. But maybe they do not uh, do this and they take for granted. So if we cannot eliminate uh, this uh, COVID, if we do not also do our share in uh, fighting against COVID. Pero as somebody said regarding, regarding uh, social distancing, better to uh, be two meters away distant rather than six feet below the ground. So remember this, that we should also help ourselves and God will also help us. Dear brothers and sisters, let us uh, pray that our Lord will not tell us, O oh, you men and women of little faith, why did you doubt? Do your best and God will do the rest. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God.